Yeah, I dealt with the, the, the spirit and the Kundilian Azania. Uh, yeah, this is the last thing I want to address. You know, uh, if we can hold a referendum tomorrow and say, what should be the name of Africa? Some will say Azania. Mm. Some will say Mzanzi. Mm. And the ANC will say South Africa. Why? Why can't we agree? <laughs> Why can't we agree? Mzanzi, which is now more popular, simply means South. Mm. So it's meaningless. It doesn't talk to our identity. The word Azania, the root of Azania is Zanj. Zanj, the full name of Zanj is Zanj Kafura, which means the root or trunk of the spirit of the sacred life. And that is the name of the sun. And uh, the original Azania was Ethiopia. That's why the coast of Africa, eastern coast of Africa, uh, is called the Azanian coast. Mm. And that's why the Indian Ocean is called the, was called Azanian Ocean. And Lenaiwa students, you allow Indians from so far to call your sea Indian Ocean. Why don't they name the Ganges there as the uh, Indian Ocean? They come here. So okay. part of the transformation is that we must change the names. Yeah. There can be an Indian Ocean uh, on the coast of Africa. Yeah. This ocean called Atlantic Ocean, it was called Ethiopian Ocean, which speaks to us. And we allow the British to call it Atlantic Ocean. Now, uh, what I'm trying to say, there was, there's a map I can share with you, where Zanj was an empire north of Mozambique. Now, how do you get an empire north of Mozambique, which is Azania, and say South Africa is Azania? What is the basis? And uh, Tambo, when I met him uh, in Tanzania in 1987 with uh, Nyerere, he said, yeah, we are involved in a struggle, but uh, we shouldn't leave culture behind. He said, actually, when the right come, comes, South Africa must be called the Republic of Maluti or Malundi. I said, what do you mean, Comrade President? He said, uh, the country called Burundi is also called Urundi. Mm. And if you, some people like the Zulus can't pronounce R, mm. they say L. Mm. So Urundi becomes Ulundi. In Natal, you have Ulundi. And then in Zimbabwe, you have the river Ulundi. On the Botswana side, uh, the Botswana say uh, Odi. Mm. That Odi is Undi, mm. is Luti. And then uh, here, Amanskral is Odi Moriltel. And then Malotia Pufu, uh, Free State. Maluti Mountains in the Free State, and, and so on. So the most common name for this country is Maluti or Maluti. Now, what is the name of Lundi? Lundi is the name of the sun. It is defined as the needle that weaves together heaven and earth. And that's why our own people, you know, when we worked Lebo Solon Masang in Mamilodi, she called us Vanavaji Kalaga. Eban. Vanavaji Kalaga. If you go to most funerals, whether it's a Tsonga funerals or Ndevele, or, they will say, mm. and then uh, there the are Karanga people, Wakalaga, Nar Wakalaga. The name Mkalaga simply means the children of the sun. Mm. So if we define ourselves as the children of the sun, children of light, there won't be tribalism. So why don't we use this rich culture to stop this thing? Because tribalism is retarding progress. Mm. Right now, our politics don't go well mm. because everybody goes to his tribe yeah. and buy votes there. Mm. And when we meet, we think we belong to the same organization. People are voted by their tribes. Their tribes. Mm. At the end, people complain that, no, this thing is dominated by vendors, 
or dominated mm. by Zulus, then we start solving tribal things other than taking our country uh, forward. Uh, as I said, I tend to talk too much.